in February, the, the EU Parliament voted a non-binding resolution uh, to stop exporting weapons to Saudi Arabia. Has any European country heeded the call? The only country I know of which has um, imposed restrictions which are very close to an arms embargo is the Netherlands, which has basically said we will not license the export of military goods or arms to Saudi Arabia if we aren't 100% sure that those weapons cannot be used in Yemen. Countries, member states within the EU are very important suppliers of arms to the Middle East. Uh, countries like uh, the UK and France are, are amongst the biggest ones when it comes to arms supplies to Saudi Arabia. Arabia or the UAE. Saudi Arabia is, as I said, heavily dependent on arms imports. It doesn't really produce arms itself. Those weapons that Saudi Arabia makes itself are weapons they produce under license with technology, with machinery, with equipment, bought uh, most often in uh, Europe or in the United States. Okay, now to the other side. How are the Houthis, the, the rebels, uh, where are they getting their, their weapons from? Um, first of all, the Houthis um, have managed to uh, both convince part of the armed forces to join them and they have been able to run over a large part of the country, including the military arsenals which were already there before. Yemen has received over the decades uh, massive amounts of arms and ammunition, mainly small arms and all that, but even the larger arms. So, for example, the Houthis have captured complete ballistic missiles uh, for shorter range use and have used them, have fired them against Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And of course there are also indications that they get some weapons from abroad, in particular from Iran. It is not entirely sure what the volumes are there, it's not entirely sure who is exactly behind that, but in a number of cases um, there have been interceptions of uh, Iranian produced weapons or weapons with clearly Iranian labels on them uh, on their way to Yemen. Human rights organizations, whether it be Amnesty International or Human Rights Watch, have accused both sides of committing war crimes. That is correct, and um, that raises some questions about the capability on the side of the Saudis and the UAE, etc., on to which extent they are actually able to use the high-tech equipment they have. Because in principle, if you have this kind of high-tech sensors and high-tech precision bombs, you should be able to um, wage your war in such a way that you really try to hit only military targets, uh, armed Houthis in this case, for, for example. But in, in reality, they have not been able to do that. Whether that's deliberate or whether that's due to a lack of competence, that is very unclear. Um, on the side of the Houthis, um, yes, they, they wage a much more primitive type of warfare, you could say, compared to what the Saudis and the UAE do. Um, and there you might ha have a different, let's say, they might have a different excuse for certain types of, of um, attacks uh, in which civilians die in the sense that they don't have the equipment to do surgical strikes, whatever you would like to call them.